Hello and welcome to How It's Done Google Doodle of the 9th of April 2012. And I'll just open up the Google Chrome and here we are. I'm doing it this time in English because after my last How It's Done Google Doodle for the Massa Graham video, um, a lot of people commented, why don't you do the talking in English so everybody can understand you. So I'm trying now to stay in English and not switching back to German. So this is the Google Doodle of today and I just press play and let's see what happened. Oh, that is really nice, is it? And now it's just looping. So let's find out. We all knew this optic and we all knew that little piece of movie clip, I guess. So let's check it out. And it's the birthday of Edward Mybridge. I just looked it up how it how his last name is spelled and I guess it's Mybridge like it's Mybridge and Edward J. Mybridge uh, was an English photographer of Dutch ancestry who spent much of his life in the United States. He is known for his pioneering work on animal locomotion, which used multiple cameras to capture motion, and this zoo praxiscope, a device for projecting motion pictures that predated the flexible perforated film strip. And the zoo praxiscope we all know and fancy of is that thing and we all knew his movie clip with the horse so let's go back to Google and try to find out how it's done I press play again and let's check it out it's moving all right let's check the element a little bit smaller here so and we see here are changes of data already so we have the LGA ID and we have the HP I think homepage logo ID with the role of the button and we have a script here and some other diffs so let's open this diff again and see we have here HP logo P and HP logo V and we see so so they have to be images somewhere and I just opened this HP logo V and let's and here we see uh, the nice colors but we see the they are not moving anyhow of course not because they are they are uh, fixed and here we have another layer and this there is a movement so let's open this but it's just moved one this is a play button and we see here the continuous moving of the background so let's check it out so here we see the background position is animated the whole time open link in new tab and we see we have single frames so now now we can guess that there is a single frame animation going on and I guess it's pretty much what's happening here but how it's done so that we have a lot of squares going on and having just one background position what I'm guessing is that the squares that we have different images let's let me just take a screenshot screenshot taken open it in my graphical program file new screenshot and crop it so and now and now we see there are actually different images shown and I guess if I'm now copying the single animation strip build copy copy image and paste it and let's see yeah yeah they match up in size of course they have to and let's check it out. We need this one belongs here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's ending up here. Um, so, 
what is happening now? We have this film strip and it's kind of animated because the background is repeating. It means the film strip is move position, 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 position. And we have the same effect uh, as we think it's moving and we have an animation. And from top to down we have every time the same image and from left to right we have the progressing image. And then I, just one mystery as to solved. It's the coloring of the movie clip. So let's check it out. Save the image. Here is the saved image. Let's open it in our graphical program. And we see that the image is partially transparent. So we can see shine from the background. And if I just put that layer above and we see we have the optic we wanted to have. Okay, so what we're actually seeing here is that we have a foreground layer with the coloring squares and we have a background layer with a matched background. So, and the background is just animated from the right to the left and we have the effect Edward J. Mybridge had a couple of years ago. One thing we can check out is though, let's inspect that element again and we see the button is really just one, is that the button? I have, wait, I have to check it out. Open link in a new tab, yep. So this layer is actually the just the button in the middle and if I'm pressing play, check out here the position. If I'm pressing play now, it slowly moves to the side. So we can see it and we have these nice effects that's going on. A nice effect though is that it starts up very, very slow and then gets faster. But it gives you the impression that we need it. Yep. So that's one nice Google Doodle for Edward J. Mybridge. I hope you enjoyed it and see you around.